Okay. During this lesson we're going to see how to do an isometric circle, which we should have done before, so this is a bit of revision and nothing else. What we have here is we've got a rectangular shaped box which is 120 millimeters long by 110 millimeters tall and from front to back it's 50 millimeters. On the front of this box we have a circle, a bit like a camera lens. It's not flat on the surface but from here we can see that it actually sticks out from the body of the rectangle out into space. So this little part here is actually coming out towards us. So what we're going to try and draw on this piece of the paper is a rectangular box and then we're going to construct a circle on the front of it. Now just to show the lines up properly on this, I'm going to use a green pen for construction lines, I'm going to use an orange pen for doing the centre lines and when I'm finished with that I'll line it in using black. So the first thing we need is our starting point which is our X there. I'm going to use this set square here which is our 60-30 set square for isometrics. I'm now going to put on our three axes. So I need an axis going in this direction, turn it round, I need an axis going in that direction. And finally I need a vertical axis. So I've now got my three axes to start me off with. Now from the X position here I can see that it corresponds with this corner and with this corner. What that tells me is that in this direction I'm going this distance and in this direction, I'm going this distance here. So from here to here, I have to measure 120. And from here to here, I have to measure 50 and do my second construction line. Taking my ruler, measuring along the line, I'm going for 120 millimetres, which is 12 centimetres. I mark the point there. And in this direction, I'm going 50 millimetres. And I mark the position there. I take my 60-30 set square again, construct another construction line up the page, slide my set square along again, and construct another construction line. That's me beginning to form the box. This front face here is this one. The end view going that way is this face here. Now we need to get the height of it. Now I can tell from my front elevation that my height is 110 millimetres. Taking my ruler again, measure any one of these three lines, it doesn't matter which one. 110 millimetres, which is 11 centimetres, is this point here. I can now take my 60-30 set square again, and I'm going to complete the box. So I draw a line in this direction, because this top line is parallel to the bottom. So I have to draw a line which is parallel to it. I now have to draw a line which is parallel to this one. Turn my set square around and draw a parallel line. I now have the front face which is this and I have the end face which is what I see if I'm looking in this end of the shape. What I need to do is complete the top. This line going from here to here is this top surface. Now at the back of that there is a parallel line to it. So what I have to do, take my set square and draw a line parallel to it. This line here corresponds with this line. So that line there is the same as that one. At the other end of the top surface it has a line which is parallel to it. So at the other end of this top surface I need a line which is parallel to this one. Using my set square, draw a line across. And that's me completed the top of the box. Now that's basic isometric box construction, which we've all done before. Very simple to do. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to take my centre lines, which are going across here, and I'm going to put those centre lines onto this surface, because I need them to draw my circle. To do that I'm going to switch on to an orange pen to make them more distinguishable. Now, I know this surface here is 110, so what I have to do is find the midway point, or the halfway point, which should be 55mm, which is there. I need to find the midway point of this bottom surface to put this centre line in. 
So the midway point for that will be 60 millimetres, which is there. Now I take my set square, taking care of the parallel motion, and now draw my centre lines like that. Turn it round and do a vertical centre line. This point here, point zero I'm going to call it, is the same as that point zero there. Now there's some simple points I can put on straight away. I know that the distance from here to here, because it's a diameter of 80, I know that that distance there is 40. That also tells me that the distance from here to here is also 40. And the distance from here to here is also 40, as is this, and the same as that. So what I can do quite easily is get my compass, step off that distance here, which is 40, and I can quickly go around each of these four centre lines and step off my distance. So that's me got a point here, a point here, a point here, and a point here. For full mark in an isometric circle, we need 10 points. I've got four. I need to find another at least six from somewhere. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create 12 points which gives me some extra ones. And how I do that is I take my 60-30 set square and I draw some construction lines through the centre of this circle until I've used up all the available angles. There is one there. Here is another one here. Turn my set square around. Draw another angle through here. Turn my set square once more and draw another angle through here. What will that gives me is position 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. 